GMRS is an addiction, and at the moment, it's probably one of the fastest growing ones in the whole country. If you don't believe me, just check the numbers. From April 2021 to November 2021, a paltry seven months, the number of GMRS license holders in this country has increased a whopping 21%. Look back further and you'll see that from December 2019 to today, the number of GMRS licenses has more than tripled. Whatever the reason people are attracted to the service, from looking for something to do while being stuck at home during lockdown, to shifting attitudes about whether or not we're headed towards an imminent dark age. No factor has enabled this exponential growth more than the access to cheap, decent functioning imported radios. These things are to the current GMRS market like what crack was to the 1980s global cocaine market. A cheap, easy to produce and distribute product that packs quite a bit of punch for the money. They've allowed people to enter into this world with very little cost of entry. In fact, the grand majority of these radios cost less than the actual GMRS license. Just like any other addiction, however, at some point you start to become a connoisseur and you realize that maybe those cheap radios don't sound the best or lack a key feature you might have heard of or seen and suddenly realize you just can't live without it. For those folks, the answer used to be buying one of the extremely high-end ham radios and tweaking them to allow their use on GMRS frequencies, be that programming or even an entire hardware or software unlock. For those of us who don't have the time, means, or expertise to go down that route or are worried about catching the attention of the radio police, Ocean has created a turnkey solution in the form of the KG935G. The KG935G is the flagship of all Ocean GMRS handhelds, and buy2wayradios.com sent us one to use and review. While it does feature system on a chip architecture instead of the super heterodyne construction that some other models in the Ocean handheld lineup do feature, it more than makes up for it with its extensive list of features, many of which I now find invaluable. Here's my list of five features that make the Ocean KG935G the hands down best GMRS handheld radio transceiver on the market. First and probably foremost for me is channel storage. As someone who spends a lot of time exploring the outdoors in a variety of different regions of Arizona and the Southwest, one of my biggest criticisms of the cheaper radios is their lack of channel memory when it comes to multiple frequency and tone combinations. They really don't have any. There's only eight GMRS frequencies available for repeater usage, which means you'll inevitably come across a situation where you need to change tones to talk on a different repeater on the same channel. Extra channel memory takes the hassle out of that by allowing you to create multiple different tone and frequency combinations, label them, and have the ability to switch back and forth between them like you would any other channel. Most cheap radios have nothing in the way of this memory, and some might give you a handful, like a dozen or so, but that's really it. The KG935G has the ability to store almost 1,999 to be exact, different frequency and tone combinations within its internal memory. That gives you quite a bit of room to save like every publicly listed repeater tone and frequency combination in most any given state, and still have plenty of room left over to add all of the various UHF and VHF non-GMRS frequencies you wanna to listen to. Which brings me to the second point, multiple scan groups. Using the free to download software and programming cable, cable sold separately, link in the description below, you can create groups of channels and then the radio can scan them individually. In our case, I have one group set up to scan just the five or so repeaters I can hit from my house. Limiting the scan to that few channels means I likely won't miss much when someone keys up to talk. My second scan group is every radio repeater within the Southwest Community Radio System, which is a network of over 20 link repeaters that cover almost all of New Mexico, a good portion of Arizona, and parts of Colorado and West Texas. With these repeaters being linked, it means anyone who can access one repeater can communicate with anyone else who is able to access any other repeater in the network. There are numerous times where I've found myself without cell service and unable to get a message out on my not so amazing Spot X satellite messenger, yet I could key up just fine on a Southwest linked repeater. Having them all in a scan group means that if I'm in an unfamiliar area, I can automatically set the radio to scan all of the network's tone and frequency combinations and tell it here's someone transmit on one, which would then tell me which repeater and tone combination I likely need to use to get a call out. While we're on the subject of scanning, here's my third feature, tone scanning. 
Inevitably, there's gonna come a time that tone scanning is gonna come in really handy. Say you're out wheeling and you have your radio set to channel 16 with no tones on and you hear a nearby group start talking and you wanna communicate with them, but when you key up, it just seems like your message is falling on deaf ears. It usually means one thing. They're using some sort of tone to keep outside interference down. With a KG935G, instead of having to go through the process of elimination with every sub-audible tone to reach that group, you can simply just turn tone scan on and let the radio do the work for you. Soon, you'll know what tone they're on and can put it into your own radio and transmit to them. This is really useful if your buddies use radios from brands like Midland that assign different numerical values to tones and call them privacy tones or subchannels. Instead of trying to locate your copy of the Midland Rosetta Stone, all you have to do is have your friend key up and let the KG935G illustrate yet one more reason why it's the best. For our fourth feature, we've combined two, the full color screen and battery life. The screen on this radio is really like no other. It's big and bright and features four different color themes with light and dark backgrounds to suit individual user needs and tastes. This does wonders in improving the overall user experience, in my opinion. While in those regards, the screen is one of the radio's best assets, in another, it's one of its worst. You see, for all of its bigness and brightness indoors, this screen doesn't display as well in direct and bright sunlight. I was able to mitigate this a bit by switching to a light backgrounded theme, but it's still not optimal. While big color LCDs tend to burn through batteries, the KG935G more than makes up for it by using a 3200 milliamp hour battery. I recently used this radio on a two day backpacking trip, only shutting it off at night when I slept, and it didn't even drop the battery life indicator on the screen. Long life or not, all batteries require charging at some point, and here's where another criticism of this radio lies. It lacks USB-C connectivity. Radios like the Redivus RB27 and Radioddity GM30 both feature the ability to recharge the radio with a simple USB-C plug, something like almost all of us now keep within arm's reach. Short of buying more accessories, the only way to charge a KG935G in the stock configuration is via a cradle, and that cradle only plugs into 110. Hopefully this is something they start to offer in the future, if not as standard, at least maybe they could come up with a USB-C rechargeable battery pack and sell it as an add-on. And if they did, I'd buy one. Before we get to my favorite feature though, how about an honorable mention? And that's construction and build quality. This thing feels like a commercial grade radio in your hand and it's taken some knocks since I've had it. It's also IP66 rated for water and dust intrusion, meaning I can take it hiking with confidence knowing that it's not gonna go sideways when the weather does. Okay, so ready for the number one reason why the Ocean KG935G is the best GMRS handheld radio you can buy? Well, here it is. It's been designed to perform best on GMRS frequencies. GMRS operates in the 462 and 467 megahertz frequency range. Most lower cost GMRS options you find out there are just reskinned versions of a multi-banded radio designed to work from say 130 megahertz on the VHF side up to 480 megahertz in UHF. To meet the FCC's part 95 requirement, these radios are just modified via software to prohibit them from transmitting outside the GMRS spectrum. Ocean did more than that with the KG935G and actually baked in optimization for the GMRS spectrum. One place where this is most apparent is in the antenna. Just like how tires are where a car meets the road, the antenna is where the radio meets the air. And also like how tires have an immense impact on a vehicle's handling characteristics, an antenna may be the single biggest limiting factor for radio performance. If you remove the KG935G's antenna and take a look at what's printed around its SMA female connection, you'll see that this particular antenna has been tuned specifically to operate within the 462 and 467 megahertz spectrum. Due in large part to this optical optimization, I was actually able to not only hear, but also hit a repeater 123 miles away and have multiple people come on to tell me my signal was perfect. That's not bad for five and a half watts. If you don't believe me on just how much of a difference that tuned antenna makes, here's an opportunity for you to try it for yourself. Buy2wayradios.com sells not only the very same optimized SMA female antenna, 
but also GMRS optimized BNC and SMA male antennas. So you can experience the difference with your current radio. I'll put a link in the description below. If you're interested to find out more or purchase your own KG935G, I'll put a link to it on buy2wayradios.com in the description below as well. These are affiliate links, so purchases made will help the channel in the form of affiliate commissions. I'll also just go ahead and thank you in advance for supporting us. As always, I'm Matt Kester. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Frugal Explorer Dad. Check out the channel on Instagram and the Facebook and the internets at Secondhand Overland. Until next time, be good.